Well, breaking news. Tom Pelissero saying that Cam Newton's new one-year deal with the Patriots, yes, he's back for one year. It gives him a chance to make a little more than he did in 2020, source said. Another relatively low-risk move by New England to bring back the former NFL MVP. His salary last year was $1.6 million. So, yeah, low-risk move, not a lot of money. Shriggs, I was thinking timing-wise, why now? They want a guy going into free agency. That doesn't mean they can't draft someone or still add someone. This is pretty good. Yeah, and I said it yesterday on the show. I, I had the Patriots as the number two team as free agency injury. I said, pick a quarterback now. Like, you need to at least have someone in place. You can't pitch to free agents. It's almost like you saw this coming, right? We've got Stidham here, and we've got, you know, Hoyer here. No, now at least you could tell free agents. We have Cam Newton at the very least. But, Kay, it opens up the window. You could still draft a quarterback at no 15 doubt. or 20 or wherever they're at. You could still also trade up if you have to. But for Cam Newton... This is the arguments in his corner, and I'll give Mike Giardi a lot of credit because he wrote a really good column for NFL.com last week making the case for Cam New England. Wasn't signed until July, was fighting COVID during the season. Whether you want to make a COVID excuse or not, it is a real illness, and he had it in the middle of the season and wasn't the same quarterback afterwards. And then finally was thrown the playbook at a certain time and then didn't have any weapons. So you make all these cases, say, well, the low-risk deal, let's at least give Cam one more shot, see what he can do. But I don't think I would say Cam has slam dunked the QB1's week one just yet. Still think there's some time to tell that story. But to have him in place, you can at least tell a free agent, yeah, Cam Newton's our quarterback. Instead of, we don't know who our quarterback is, but you should sign with us over another team. I can't picture Cam Newton standing on the sideline as a backup for a team. I just can't do it. Like I'm very, very surprised at this. Very. And finances aside, it was just the football. And we're in this world now where you're hearing this conversation a lot. Didn't have time to run the playbook, no OTAs, no training camp. We're hearing the same thing about Tua from Brian Flores yesterday. And maybe sometimes that's going to vindicate guys. I just remember Patriots, I think it was Patriots-Rams last year, and it was just flatline. Thursday night game. Cam could not throw the ball. He could not do any. It was, I've never seen a New England Patriots team look like that. To bring him back, I think he is your week one starter. And even if they do draft a rookie, I don't know if you're beating Cam Newton in one training camp that we don't even know what's going to look like. He looked like what he did last year. Maybe at the beginning, but I'm just going what I've seen most recently. And, you know, Cam's quote was, there's not 32 quarterbacks better than me. There are 30. I'm, I'm very surprised at this. I just look at this year, this season, I firmly believe the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to go into Gillette Stadium and play Bill Belichick's Patriots. And what was left of Cam Newton is going to be waiting for them, maybe? I, I'm very surprised at this. I thought it would be a, a big, big, big fresh start. I'm not surprised at all. You know, last year um, we sat back and we all were curious if, if Cam Newton was going to work with the Patriots. Um, but him being signed so late, and you just talked about it, Mike Giardi talked about it, we talked about it all season long, it is so hard to learn a playbook, especially the Patriots playbook, who notorious, notoriously has always been very difficult to learn. Even Chad Ochocico came out and said, listen, it, it, the playbook was advanced. I'm not saying I couldn't pick it up, but I just needed more time. Cam Newton on the I Am Athlete podcast said, I just need more time to learn the playbook. They are still learning me. I'm still learning this offense. And now, before the season even starts, he has the entire offseason, at the very least, to learn the playbook. Nate, like that graphic there. came up. You weren't even a little bit surprised because the playbook I get, I was watching him in late December yeah. get his doors blown off when the playbook has nothing to do with it. They got destroyed by Buffalo, by L.A. Starting quarterback? What? Isn't that what you're saying is probably why he's not potentially going to be the starting quarterback? But see, that, what I'm saying is I can't picture Cam Newton standing on the sideline as the number two quarterback. That's just not who he is. It's not why you have him around. And knowing Cam and the way he is, and this is what we were talking about in the commercial, like, I don't think he's signing before the free agency market just to I, I feel like he's gotten either some assurances or he thinks he's going to be outstanding and better and is like all right I'm coming because for Cam do you not want to try something else do you not want to give it a shot do you not want to test the market see what else is out there I, I don't know he signs this early in the process to me it feels like he believes he is the number one right like he's not going to be there to groom some young quarterback but if you're the Patriots you can't rely on Kyle's right. Cam couldn't throw the ball at the end of the season. No. It's true. I mean, I'm sorry. It's true. He could not physically throw the football at the end. You have to say that you think he's going to recover and be healthy. I think he's still a fantastic quarterback if he's healthy, but mm -hmm. it's nothing against him. The, the arm wasn't there. Yeah, I, I feel like Cam Newton didn't want to hit the reset button on learning no, another playbook. And I feel like the Patriots That's were like, fair. listen, Cam Newton had a year of kind of learning the playbook on the run. Let's give him another shot. Now, I get it. There was a, a drop-off significantly in how he was throwing the ball. We did show the graphic and the stats. And I'm not being a Cam Newton apologist right now. Cam Newton didn't play good football at moments last year where you're just like, they need a new quarterback going into the 2021 season. But the stats we didn't show is Cam was really good rushing the ball. 
really good. So if you look at that alone, just isolate him as a runner, and Bill Belichick is saying, all right, we bring in a young quarterback in the draft, possibly. Cam Newton knows his playbook better going into the 2021 season. I feel like now they have the best of both worlds. A veteran quarterback that can push some young QB if they get one. I think it's a good situation for mm. both, both sides. I think Cam Newton, we talked about Brady yesterday, about how he looked with the Bucks and how he looked the year before that and how he almost looked human. I'm not going to say pedestrian, but he did not look like his best version of himself because of the weapons around him. So maybe if you're Cam and you're signing this deal on the cheap going into free agency, it's because you have some sort of confidence, I'm just guessing here, that they're going to write checks. They're going to open the checkbook and bring in people because it doesn't matter how good or how healthy he is. The weapons aren't there. At running back, the weapons aren't there at wide receiver. I ask you, not as where you are standing now as an 11-year vet who's now been an analyst for several years. If you're a Juju, if you're a Galladay, if you're a T.Y. Hilton, does Cam have the charisma and the pull that he once did do wide receivers are they going to want to go and play with cam it depends on what's important if you're a wide receiver that wants to put up 100 catches and be a pro bowler probably not because you're going to go to the patriots saying to yourself this is an offense that spreads the ball around cam newton didn't like, like himself from years past i'm not going to be the same type of player statistically if i go to the patriots okay. but if you go there and you're like i feel like the patriots will figure it out sooner than later we remember Tom Brady, we mentioned Tom Brady leaving. He left because they didn't have players. Mm. Julian Edelman didn't play last year because he was banged up. Nikhil Harry, the project is still a, a big question mark. So if, to your point, Kay, Cam Newton says, hey, we're going to figure things out. We're going to bring in some free agents. We're going to make a run at the NFC e or the AFC East. Yeah. I feel like guys will show I up. I know why the Patriots did this now, right? Because you want the stability or the, I, the, you want a quarterback going into free agency to lure Free agents. Is this the guy to lure free agents? At the very least, it's a body. Okay. It's a body. And you can say to a Curtis Samuel, who played with Cam Newton in Carolina, hey, Cam Newton's the quarterback. You know him. You guys can be back together. You can say to a, I don't know, an A.J. Green, Cam Newton, who you played with in the Pro Bowl for years. Corey Davis. Quarterback. Or a Will Fuller. Or a Will Fuller. But yeah, it's as like, opposed to, I know, look, Kyle, I'm with you. I would have thought We're Garoppolo, trying to be positive here, and that's what we do, and I respect I'm with it. You. Garoppolo would have He could been... not throw the ball. So we're going to go get him Will Fuller. That's great. I can't get the ball to Will Fuller. Physically, literally, if I'm one of these receivers or free agents, I love Cam in 2015. It was really cool. I throw on the tape from last year. I'm like, I, I can't get my numbers with this guy. It's just a fact. Let's play the hypothetical out. Okay. They make a trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. They do it now. Who's the starter week one? And are you, if it's a free agent, more excited about Jimmy Garoppolo if he's a Patriot? Or are you more excited about Cam yeah. who just back on a one-year deal and couldn't get the ball to his receivers? Jimmy, I, I just, I, I can't see a depth chart of Jimmy Garoppolo and Cam Newton on a team. I, I, I don't see that. Like, that's... You don't have Shaq as your like your backup center. It's just like not how it works. I I, that's not the guy yeah. you go to. If Jimmy I, yeah. gets hurt, then you go to Cam. This closes the door on the Jimmy thing. I got think. it. Yeah. I do too. It's, it was veteran. And that's and why I'm disappointed. I think it I opens the door on a, a rookie. rookie. Sure. I, I think draft. let's not underestimate the COVID thing. That's the only going to think. I don't know what his because he was really good against Seattle and he yeah. was really good week one. The whole story of the last off season was. Cam's back, he's getting in crazy shape, like, and we rooted for it. And we played the, the, the black and white video, and it was all great, and then it Just kind of fell apart. So, I don't know, Mr. You, you Negative, think that's but, all, like, I'm disappointed. I wanted the Patriots to do the Russell, Deshaun, Garoppolo thing. That's what I was Do you for. believe the poor play on Cam Newton is strictly on his inability to throw the ball, or, or do you believe that some of it was a lack of skill players, There's maybe some even that. a lack of but understanding Nate, of the I'm, I'm talking purely watching him throw the ball. It was like he had to crow hop and do a shot put to get it 20 yards down. It didn't. It looked like a shot fighter. And I, I love Cam, and he yeah. put everything on the field. But like, I just got to call it like I see it. Yeah, I understand. I'm surprised you'd rather have Garoppolo than Cam Newton. Not to another team. I don't think Garoppolo would blow your hair back. Just New England. With to the Patriots. Patriots. No one that says one there. He's, he's classically trained. That would be cool. Love but it. At, I don't think it's happening. At GMFE, much more to unpack here. Cam Newton back on a one-year deal. We'll break it all down, mm. what it means for free agency. And the Patriots, who have a lot of money to spend, they should be big players as we approach the beginning of the league year. Okay.